Jeff, I think it's going. Yeah. yeah. So my name's Jeff. Okay, I'm Justin. Good to meet you, Justin. Nice to meet you. So yeah, my question is, what do you think happens after this life? Mm -hmm. And the second part of it is, how did you get to where your belief is about that? So. Yeah. So I would believe that uh, after this life, that there is a heaven and a hell as well. That uh, the Bible talks a lot about having uh, heaven and a hell for um, for choice. So uh -huh. it's not just uh, people going, uh, everyone going to heaven, or that's not everyone going to hell. But yeah. uh, Jesus offers a way to heaven. Uh, but also, if you don't uh, choose that, and uh, that's not just for. Um, I think it takes like true, a true following to, to get to heaven. That's why there is a hell. Because um, at the same time, I think that uh, Jesus wants uh, he wants our whole life to follow after him. So that uh, so he calls that. And so I believe in a heaven and a hell after earth. Yeah. And uh, I think just just kind of what I grew up with. I think that's just what there was nothing else really uh -huh. that was really ever. Uh, an option for so me. You grew to, up with a, in a, I take it a church going yeah. family. Yep, I did. So particular denomination or? Mennonite denomination. Oh okay. So growing up in that, kind of just believing in it. And I haven't done too much study on it particularly. Uh -huh. But uh, I think that lines up with uh, I don't know, I don't read too much into Revelation, but I think it talks about a new um, a new heaven a new, uh, yeah. meeting with with God where everything is perfect and yeah. uh, and then also talks about the condemning of churches also in Revelation which are very violent so it kind of gives both images I think of what yeah. is to come so if um, so you believe in um, there's a heaven and a hell and that mm -hmm. you're going to heaven mm -hmm. um, and that but that some people are going to hell yeah right? I believe so yeah um, what would be the difference because I'm pretty sure you'd say you're not a perfect person, no, right? Of course not. So what would be the difference between you and someone who ends up in hell? Yeah. Well, I don't want to be a judge, of course. Uh -huh. Like I don't think that um, I should be the one to tell anyone where they're going. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I think it's that, all theoretical. I mean, yeah. it's I mean, it's it's God's decision. For sure, it but is. That's what I mean by that. It is, <laughs> and that's why I hope on earth that I can just promote um, heaven and lead others to heaven, which I think comes through recognizing the need for a savior. Uh -huh. um, I think that um, if, if you've experienced Jesus, like people experience Jesus uh, in their lives or just know who he is, I think uh, for them to to know that um, just, uh, yeah, I would say that they recognize that they need a savior because they can't, um, we can't do it without God in our lives. Uh -huh. So I think recognizing that and then um, choosing to choosing to follow along with him instead yeah. of um, I guess following what could be more enjoyable in life for some so I think um, so after you recognize that kind of choosing to live a lifestyle that embodies that uh, and I don't know that, what kind of actions like I don't think you need to go to church but I think I mean the church body has been so helpful for me so I find it very yeah. very helpful but I don't think you need to go to church or um, yeah. Jesus doesn't say you need to accept me he doesn't say uh, you don't need to accept Jesus quote unquote but I think you need to uh, have a longing for him in your heart and to, to show that I guess yeah was there ever a time when you would say you were not going yeah. to heaven uh, probably probably more towards high school when I knew what I knew was right and wrong but I chose wrong uh -huh. so um, at the time, I'd say that I just chose not to, not to uh, what I knew was best because I didn't experience the fruit all the time yeah. of what was supposed to be good. So I like what you yeah. said about like you understand that you need a savior. Yeah. You know, because when I the, mo the most most people I talk to, <laughs> if they don't have that understanding, yeah. which most people don't, For sure. believe. Okay, I'm not perfect, but. I try to be the best person I can be, yeah. or God knows my heart, mm -hmm. you know. It's usually based on um, something good about themselves. Yeah. And uh, and so, how can we know that we need saving outside of what we can do to save ourselves, mm -hmm. you know? Like, yeah. 
Um, good question. And uh, yeah, so like, so like, if I had come up to you and I'd say, "Oh, Justin, I saw you coming out of that church or whatever," uh-huh. how can I know I'm going to go to heaven when I die? What would you tell me? Hmm. <laughs> good question. Because you might get some, you know, like yeah. uh, some questions like that this summer. Yeah, for you know? sure. So how can I know I'm going to heaven? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. Again, I don't, I don't think we should. I think we know in our hearts when we've experienced um, Jesus in our lives. I think that that's a sign that uh, feeling developing a relationship with him to start for sure mm-hmm. and then uh, wanting to pursue that relationship uh, I think that's what God desires for us and so I think that's what uh, the first step to getting us into heaven and then uh, I think an intentional living an intentional lifestyle to yeah uh, I think just just to help you out a little mm-hmm. bit so one of the things I do when I talk to people on the yeah. street if, if they tell me, I think I'm going to heaven because God knows my heart or mm-hmm. my good outweighs my bad is a very popular yeah. thing. It's like, okay, well, if we could be good enough for heaven, mm-hmm. uh, we wouldn't need a savior, True. right? So apparently we need him. Mm-hmm. Why do we need him? Well, when we do good, we're doing what God rightfully expects us to do. We yeah. should do good. It can't pay for the bad that we you know, that we shouldn't do, yeah. you know? So that whole idea of like this balance scale, we're, we're basically bankrupt. We can't pay for the bad things we've done with the good yeah. we ought to do, you know? For sure. As far as like, why do we need a savior? Well, have we broken any of the commandments? Have we ever lied, stolen, you know? It sounds legalistic, yeah. but the purpose of, of the commandments is not to get us to heaven because if that's true we we wouldn't have a chance exactly. we've broken them yep. you know and no matter if i was to repent mm-hmm. perfectly never break another command the rest of my life i'm still guilty of the ones i've already broken mm-hmm. and so it's like that guilt how can i get rid of that guilt yeah. you know it's there it's it, i can't shake it mm-hmm. i can't pay for it i what can i do yeah. you know and so the Bible says that's why we need a savior. Right? Yeah. We need someone to take our punishment in our place. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, yeah, we will be taking it, the, the punishment ourselves yep. forever and we'll, mm-hmm. we'll not be in a right relationship with God. So just the whole idea of repenting and believing, yep. you know, um, is, you know, that's the work of, mm-hmm. of uh, you know, it, if, if it can be called work. Um, to me, I, I have to believe repentance and faith yeah. came from God. It's For not sure. even something I mustered up in myself, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, and to go off that, like, repentance is huge because like, as you do develop that relationship and you do know what is right and wrong, I mean, we are going to get it wrong. I mean, even if you believe you're going to heaven, you're going to get it wrong, but I think the intentionality of repentance and living a lifestyle of repentance, not just going on and sinning, just so you can keep repenting, but uh, repenting because you know that God wants us to repent and that we, yeah. we know we did wrong and we know that we need to keep that whole, being drawn back to the whole idea of confession God. and repentance is, it needs to be a daily thing yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> so so yeah I, I want to um, maybe leave you with um, have you ever heard of uh, Ray Comfort and mm-hmm. the Living Waters no um, so Living Waters is the website okay and I'll leave you that information yeah and uh, it, it really opened my eyes he uh, Ray Comfort is an evangelist who really helps people to be able to share their faith. Mm-hmm. And before I, and so he's, his, the basic idea is is law to the proud, grace to the humble. Mm-hmm. So grace is, you know, like we tell about Christ to yeah. people who are humble enough to receive him. Mm-hmm. But if people think that they earned heaven or deserve heaven, yeah. they're basically proud. They need to hear God's law. Yeah. And how do we stand in comparison to the Ten Commandments? before they'll understand that we need a savior, like you're saying, you know? And so um, he really helps, helps me to see that I need to, I, need, I do need to mention the Ten Commandments, not just mention them, but focus on them to help people see their sins so yeah. they can see their need for a savior. Yeah, and um, uh, before that, uh, I, I always wanted to be able to share my faith, you know, on yeah. the street with whoever. And I, I tried at various times and I would be like, 
trying to convince people they need Jesus, mm-hmm. kind of like a used car salesman is trying to convince someone they need a car that they didn't even want in yeah. the first place. You know, it's like I would get these responses like, okay, you've got your Jesus and I've got my whatever, you know, whatever they believe in. And, um, and so it's like, no, now we need to show people why do you need Jesus? Yeah. You know, it's kind of like the bad news or the good news of the gospel doesn't make sense without the bad news that without him we're lost, mm-hmm. without him we're condemned, you know? So, so uh, thanks. I, uh, like most of my conversations are kind of more like, uh, you know, like witnessing conversations, yeah, but uh, uh, I post this, okay. you know, at my blog site and if anyone sees it, uh, <laughs> hopefully they, you know, have heard yeah. some things that can be helpful. So. What's your blog? It's, uh, I'll, I'll leave you that okay. too, so sure. I'm going to shut this down.